that like a prank or something? You see this man walk into this uh, Russian speaking synagogue in San Francisco, say a few things. There was no uh, audio in this video. Brandish a firearm and go firing it around. And I kept looking at the table to see which one of these folks was either gonna be afraid, angry, dive under something. I was like, he must have said something like this is a joke because apparently nothing really went down there. Luckily, though maybe they realized this, the bullets that he shot were actually blanks and no one was hurt still. His ass got arrested. Dmitry Mishin is his name, he's 51 years old. And he appears to be the suspect who allegedly entered that Schneerson Center in Richmond on Wednesday. Fired blanks into the sanctuary and then walked off. That's according to review of those jail records and surveillance footage from that incident. Now the day before that, Dimitri decided to appear at the Balboa Theater and he was brandishing a handgun. I don't know if it was still the one with blanks in it or not. But he has apparently an addiction to going around in public places and waving his gun around. Hmm. Here's a, a little bit less surprising part about this guy's profile. He turned out to have some Nazi sympathies, of course. And he also has a presence on Twitter where he's posting a bunch of anti Semitic content as well. It was also a video of him on January 29th burning something outside of the synagogue that synagogue that he later went into uh, to try and, I guess, scare more folks. Because he's got nothing else to do with his life. A couple days after that, though, uh, there was also a post from his uh, propaganda on his Nazi, about Nazi Germany, uh, with the words on this poster that uh, read, Attention, Jew. That's the, uh, that's the translation there, because again, this must be fun for him. And now he's been arrested. So also there's other posts he had who apparently was him as at a younger age posing in his favorite uh, Nazi regalia as well, because he's a badass. Hmm. He was arrested on February 3rd based on that photo of him with the gun at the Balboa Theater. So maybe he shouldn't have been brandishing it around so much. The FBI posted that photo of that suspect standing in the theater and uh, holding that pistol in his hand pointed toward the ceiling. So by Friday evening though, that gunman was taken into custody in the same neighborhood after investigators searched his home and found evidence that connected him to both of those incidents. Uh, he was booked into county jail shortly after midnight Saturday on suspicion of various charges, including disturbing religious assembly and brandishing an imitation firearm. But he was not booked on suspicion of a hate crime. He just chose that group for random purposes uh, like that. There's this addiction, uh, Mondale, with folks in this country with our guns. And I guess at least this guy, Decide to go with some blanks for uh, the excitement of it without the consequences of actually having to look at yourself murder, folks. I'm glad they got him before he ramped up to the reality of the whole thing he's searching for. Indeed, I, I this story is so remarkable. Uh, I, I need to hear the audio and I need a Russian translator because <laughs> I, I, the, the, the level of calm at that table while he's talking. First of all, most people turn around, see him clicking a gun, then turn back around and continue into the conversation they're having. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if these people are familiar with this person or if he's been in there threatening them before. I don't know what the case is. Even the rabbi's response initially was, oh, we thought it was a joke or we weren't really afraid about it, worried about it. And, I, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh my, we're not really worried about this. And then he said they until, it wasn't until they found out about him posting Nazi swastikas on his Twitter that he was uh, beginning beginning to get a little afraid. The idea though, even that someone is running in there playing with uh, you know, this, this fake firearm is still threatening and also alarming because like you said, it's only a matter of time before those are not fake firearms and someone is dead. Um, this person should be prosecuted. It definitely should be a, a hate crime, especially in the context of what's been posted on their website and how they're targeting people. Um, this, is, this is dangerous uh, and this is extremely dangerous uh, behavior. And it cannot be dissected or put in siloed away from our political climate at this moment, where we have the FBI saying that the number one hate group in this country are neo-Nazis and white supremacists. Uh, since we're focused on the reaction of these folks, there was something that came to mind. An old friend, I won't name, talked about how he was in a situation where someone came with a gun, robbing a place, it was like a bar or something. And he said the best way, and this is, and honestly, maybe it is. He said the best way to just get out of that situation if you find yourself in it is try not to be the loud panic one and just get up calmly and walk out. And he did that once he said it worked like a charm. And it looked just like what that older gentleman was doing that met him at the door. He even waved as he left, maybe opened it for him. And it kind of throws off the guy because he expects fear or panic or craziness or attacks or aggression, something. And if he, the, the man right there in the, in the sweater, um, just saunter out. Maybe it's the real deal. Maybe it's, it is what you're supposed to do because no one really reacted. 
uh, they got they got better nerves than I do. Uh, but again, this uh, apparently that's what he was looking for. Maybe he didn't get it, and that's what uh, caused him to leave.